Hello, my name is Dave, owner and manager of Dave's Irrigation Incorporated. And today I would like to show you some ways to make your in-ground sprinkler system more efficient. When it comes to efficient watering, we want to wet the plant's root zone so that it saturates the soil and does not run off and become wasted. Typically, most lawns and landscapes need only three quarters to one inch of water each week during dry weather and every 10 days to two weeks in the winter when plant growth slows down. During the rainy season, turn your sprinkler system off for maximum water efficiency. Of course, current watering restrictions need to be followed. Your lawn and landscape will tell you when it's time to reset your time clock by showing signs of stress. Plants will wilt slightly and grass leaf blades will fold in half or curl. Another sign is when footprints remain in the lawn. One of the simplest, most effective ways to become water efficient is by preventing your sprinklers from coming on during or soon after a rain. A rain sensor, also known as a rain shutoff device, can easily be installed on any automatic time clock. After collecting a certain amount of rain, this device breaks the circuit to the electric valves of the sprinkler system, preventing them from opening. However, it does not interrupt the timekeeper on the clock. It is important to mention that rain sensors are designed for connection to 24 volt time clocks only. The manufacturer needs to be consulted for wiring to 110 or 220 volt time clocks. All wiring must conform to local, state, and federal electric codes. If you have a well system with a pump start relay, additional wiring will be necessary to interrupt the common wire going to the pump start relay, as well as the common wire to the valve. If you are unsure about your ability to properly install and wire your sensor to the time clock, it may be best to consider hiring a professional irrigation or electrical contractor. The first step to install a rain sensor is to locate it properly in your yard. It has to be placed where it can receive rain, not sprinkler system water, and away from overhead trees or buildings. Remember, when performing electrical work, always shut the power supply off. Rain sensors need to be wired to the time clock, so choosing a location depends on where the time clock is located and how much wire you want to install. Many time clocks are located inside a garage or shed, so the wires may need to go through a wall. Using the hardware provided, mount the sensor and adjust it to one half inch. Bring the wires to the time clock, securing them every few feet to prevent accidental removal. It is now time to attach the wires to the clock. Wiring instructions are typically included with the rain sensor. Basic wiring to a time clock in most residential locations involves opening the clock and locating where the wires are attached. You may have to remove a panel to get to the wires. Two of the sensor's three wires are used to wire the sensor to the common terminal of the clock. The third wire should not be connected to anything. After following the instructions and securing the wires, replace the removed panel and you are done. To test your rain sensor, which is recommended annually, simply turn on the time clock to run a zone and hold down the pin sticking out of the top of the sensor. You may need a steady ladder to reach your roof mounted sensor. The sprinklers should shut off. Your sprinklers should come back on when you allow the pin to return to its normal position. Your wiring will have to be checked if your sprinklers do not turn on or off during the test. Remember, there's nothing more embarrassing or wasteful than a sprinkler system that runs when it doesn't have to in the rain.